Last time on Spatry's desk, uh, I spoke about Y. Manjaro. And on this episode, I'm going to talk about Arch Linux and uh, some interesting things that I discovered uh, while building the uh, Manjaro Cup of Linux edition. Okay, one of the things that we discovered is just how modular Arch Linux really is. And that's probably one of its best strengths because basically, you know, they have the best documentation that can be found anywhere on the internet. The Arch Wiki is just, just cannot be paralleled by anything else in terms of building your own Linux distribution. But also, it has a form of modularity that you will not find in other Linux distributions. Uh, originally, I had thought that it was impossible to uh, be able to transition, say, Manjaro Linux over to Arch Linux. But if you're looking at this desktop over here, um, that is something that I was able to do. And this was this discovery was made by accident. Uh, we discovered in the process of building uh, the Manjaro Cup of Linux edition, the latest release where we forked our own packages from uh, the Arch Linux community so that we could build a distribution with a SysLinux bootloader, which the Manjaro tools do not support. We found that by swapping out uh, a package list, you can convert one Arch-based distribution into another. And I was completely blown away by this because uh, I had always thought that there was no way you could like, now to my knowledge, there's no way that you could take an one RPM distribution and convert it into another as easy like uh, converting Fedora into Red Hat or uh, converting uh, Red Hat into SUSE that I know of. I don't think it's possible. Or doing the same with uh, an Ubuntu-based distribution you know, taking Ubuntu and trying to convert it into Debian, which is its parent. Um, there isn't any way that I can think of to do that, but it is possible with Arch Linux-based distributions. And I was completely blown away by this, so I decided to do a little bit of research. And yes, the distribution you're looking at the screen right here, uh, when I installed this, I installed this as Manjaro, and now I am running um, 419.32-1 LTS. That is an Arch kernel. I converted this to Arch Linux, but um, I also made a CloneZilla backup, so I can easily restore uh, that CloneZilla backup and have my uh, Manjaro installation back very easily in the space of a few minutes. Um, is it ideal to do something like this? Probably not. Is it practical? Well, it depends on your needs and your level of expertise when using a distribution such as this. Um, the Arch community certainly isn't going to support you if you decide to install Arco Linux and then decide to swap out your mirrors and convert it back to Arch, or doing the same thing when you uh, are installing uh, Manjaro and then swapping out your mirrors, removing Manjaro, forcibly removing Manjaro packages, and then migrating it back to Arch Linux. These methods aren't supported. And the only uh, method for actually where you could probably get some support is uh, the Parabola wiki. Because uh, Parabola is a GNU, Richard Stallman approved, GNU Libre Linux distribution. And they actually have instructions on being able to swap out your package lists and then being able to convert your existing Manjaro or Arch Lin from, uh, oh, I was showing the Arch Linux uh, version. Okay, so you can convert your existing uh, Arch Linux installation to Parabola, and you can convert your uh, existing Manjaro 
installation to Parabola GNU Linux Libre. So it is actually possible to be able to do this. I was completely blown away because this had been something that we stumbled upon by accident because uh, there was an error in using the uh, Arch Linux tools when building Manjaro. But that's just to stand as a testament to the modularity of Arch Linux. And the fact of the matter is I haven't been able to see this level of modularity with any Linux distribution out there other than if you were to use uh, Linux from scratch, you know, but even then, you know, uh, when you're, you know, the, the way that the Arch Linux distribution is designed, you actually have that ability with uh, some finagling, you can actually um, be able to, you know, migrate these distributions from one to the other. But there are certain steps you have to take. Otherwise, you're going to end up with some breakage. And believe me, tran you know, uh, converting my Manjaro installation over to Arch was not a painless process. I ran into a few little bumps in the road. Um, so those are things you need to keep in mind. I Would I recommend doing this? Absolutely not. And the reason being is because, you know, if you're going to run Arch Linux, you really should run it the Arch way. But if you already know how to build Arch and you uh, understand how it works, then following a procedure such as one outlined here on Parabola's website or uh, by uh, following the... Uh, Manjaro installation guide uh, from uh, uh, Salim Khan's blog here. Uh, he uh, actually uh, had an outline here, which I followed, and I was able to successfully get uh, Manjaro converted over to Arch Linux. But again, you should have a working knowledge of Arch Linux before even doing something like this. And like I said, this isn't supported. So if something breaks, you know, there is no posting anything on the Arch community forums asking for help because they're going to tell you where you can put the, these pages of information you glean this info off of. <laughs> so the best way to use Arch is to visit wiki.archlinux.org and build it the Arch way plain and simple, and it's a tremendous learning experience, you know. Um, you'll learn in, in, in the space of a weekend, you're going to learn more about your computer than you ever did in 10 years of using Windows, plain and simple. But these pages here, and I will have a link uh, to uh, my forum, which will uh, have these pages that you can uh, visit, uh, outlining this information for those of you who want it. Um, I'll have this information available, but the fact of the matter is, uh, you won't see me actually doing a demonstration of that because this uh, methodology isn't supported. But again, uh, this is amazing stuff. Uh, it's really cool some of the things you discover after you've been bumbling around uh, on Linux for so long and, you know, building different things and making additional discoveries. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, one day, you know, it's, you know, for the longest time I had this belief that you, you know, you just couldn't build, uh, you know, uh, you know, you just couldn't build uh, Manjaro this way or, you know, uh, being able to swap out things and from one distribution to the other. But the thing is with the Arch distribution, it's absolutely amazing what you can do with it because, you know, if you have the right dependencies, you know, um, you can run uh, software that was compiled for Fedora on an Arch-based system. Don't believe me? Try building something from the AUR. The AUR is littered with packages from uh, the Ubuntu and the Fedora projects. And as long as you have the necessary dependencies, some of those packages in the Arch user repository are already pre-compiled for these other distributions and they'll run, um, assuming you have those dependencies for them. 
This is amazing stuff. Naturally, of course, you really want to build the packages from source against the libraries you already have installed on your system for optimum uh, performance and compatibility. But there are times when uh, that isn't always possible. So um, kudos to Arch Linux, the Arch Linux base, um, for its level of modularity because, I mean, um, it, it really opens the door uh, for many of you Linux users out there who want to be able to experience different things and, uh, you know, uh, perform different experiments. And uh, out of any Linux distribution that I've ever used, uh, the Arch base is... Um, the best, in my opinion, um, in terms of, you know, um, you know, getting the job done and, uh, also being able to do the unexpected. And, uh, yeah, so definitely, uh, Arch keeps surprising me. So, um, interesting discovery. And so I figured it would be, you know, it was worthy of a chat and I needed to update a, a forum thread, uh, you know, on my board from long ago when, you know, we basically said that's not possible. And it turns out that that isn't true. It is possible to migrate uh, from one Arch Linux-based distribution to another. Amazing stuff. Uh, what do you think? Um, do any of you uh, know of any other ways that you can migrate um, distributions from one to another? Uh, maybe I could be misinformed or wrong. Is there a way to uh, migrate from uh, Ubuntu and turn it into Debian? Or maybe even uh, taking uh, SUSE and turning it into Fedora? Is that even possible? Are, are those dis Do those distributions have that level of uh, adaptability? I don't know. But uh, it, it's just really interesting that you can do that with Arch, you know. I'm sure a few people are going to throw some stones at me uh, for even bringing this topic up. But hey, it was a fun little discussion. And uh, so I'm interested in seeing you guys' feedback on this. Um, so at any rate, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. And as a reminder, just a little bit of love goes a long way. So please take a little bit of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.